my lovely, lovely imps, today we have something very, very funny to talk about. You see, the god emperor of the MAGA states of America, uh, the Kaga king, keep America great again king, right? That's what it is. They're the, it's Kaga Ka or, or did they just do CAG? I don't remember. Whatever. Who cares? Uh, 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 the, uh, uh, fucking jailbird Donnie over here, uh, has been clapped yet again, but unfortunately this time it is not going to be as easy for him because his last indictment, uh, was on civil charges that, uh, left him liable for money. But this time, he has been hit with 37 charges of violations of the Espionage Act, a significantly more serious and criminal set of charges. And my god, has this been very, very funny. You guys who were here with me watching me react to the Trump deposition during his sexual assault charges, uh, if you haven't seen that, you really should go to my channel and check it out. Uh, I assure you, you will laugh your absolute ass off. Um, however, I think today might be slightly funnier. Now, it was absolutely hilarious to see Donald Trump accidentally identify the victim of his sexual assault um, as his own wife without realizing it. That was very hilarious. But what we have today is truly next level, okay? Truly, truly next level. And we're going to start simple. And I'm just going to tell you what happened. And then we're going to go from there, okay? We're going to just start with a very straightforward news accounting of exactly what happened that has some very interesting uh, information for us to enjoy. And then we're going to go from there. There is... <laughs> Listen, I'm telling you, this is really funny, okay? So first off, hilarious picture. He looks like absolute fucking shit. This is the shittiest this guy has ever looked. Donald Trump has has had many, many eras of looking like a moldy pumpkin. But this photo that was chosen uh, uh, by the Washington Post is truly next level. I've got to say, it's amazing. He's like, I don't know, his, like, his... His tie's all fucked up. I don't know what, wh where the hell is his tie even going to here? What the fuck is going on? Is this like, is this real? Is this a real photo? Why is his tie going down past his dick? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe this isn't even a real photo. Who knows anymore? A court on Friday unsealed the federal indictment against Donald Trump and an aide over classified documents found at his Mar-a-Lago home and the men's alleged efforts to keep the government from finding the materials. Here's what we know about the charges against the former president brought by special counsel Jack Smith. So yes, to start off, Donald Trump has been hit with a whole bunch of charges. Uh, it's a pretty serious case. And... Uh, before we read the rest of the story, I want to talk about why we care, okay? Because as you guys know, um, I am a big fan of, uh, of, of such uh, goofy uh, slogans such as, Be gay, do trolling. Uh, uh, be gay, have fun. I love these types of things. Uh, I don't really care all that much about people getting in trouble on technicalities. However, Donald Trump is the avatar of the law. He is the literal head of state, or he was, he's not anymore. He was, obviously. But Donald Trump was the president of the United States. Uh, and as that position, as somebody who assumes that position, there is an increased burden of behavior, uh, of lawly behavior. Okay, if you're going to assume the position of the avatar of order, if you're going to run on a law and order campaign platform, that it is very important, actually, that you follow the law. And also, secondly, these aren't just technicalities. The stuff that Donald Trump is getting in trouble for is gross negligence with, with regard to state secrets. State secrets that 
he was supposed to be, is allegedly supposed to be in charge of as the commander in chief and as the representative of the state authority. Um, yeah. Uh, so I just wanted to say that because I've seen a lot of coping conservatives be like, oh, why do the leftists suddenly care about rule of law? Well, the answer is, your guy is the rule of law guy. He's Mr. Rule of Law. Don't you think it's kind of important that Mr. Rule of Law follows the laws that he wants to impose on fucking everybody else? But of course, this is just me preempting one small bit of the mad copium that we have seen. Um, we haven't seen a copium haze of this level I don't even know when the last one was. You see, the MAGA people have been fairly low energy uh, lately. Um, at, like, Donald Trump himself has been fairly low energy lately. He he really hasn't had a lot of oomph to anything he's been doing. They've been kind of tired and moping around. Um, but, uh, with like, you guys, some of you guys will remember when I covered the live reaction to the election, do you guys remember how insane it was? We were going on to uh, BitChute. We went on to uh, the Donald.Win. We went on to all of the Trump, the, the Trump uh, 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 Twitter groups, and we were checking out all of those people and those comments. Some of you were here for that. And remember, the copium was so thick that it was burning your eyes out of the sockets. It was, these people were overdosing. They were losing their absolute absolute minds everything from oh my god it was it was a foreign interfere ah, they were screaming they were losing their fucking minds it was incredible it was it was just oh my god it was like so we haven't really seen as much of a a, a copium uh uh uh, uh flare-up uh in in recent memory even when he got in trouble for the last indictment which was the Stormy Daniels, well, okay, the last, last indictment. Of course, he lost the sexual assault case recently, and then before that, there was the Stormy Daniels stuff. And the Stormy Daniels stuff is a little bit more of, like, a technicality. It's like, you know, it's one of those things where you can write it off as, ah, it's not that important. He was a little bit of corruption, ah, blah, blah, if you want to. So there wasn't as much, they didn't need, they didn't have as much need for copium at that point. They were just like, whatever, who cares? He, he used campaign finances to pay off a prostitute to, 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 to bury her story. Who cares? Blah, blah, blah. This, however, is producing a massive, a massive level of copium. Just incredible. Okay. It is going wild this time. We're going to get to see some of it, which is fun. Anyway, let's continue. How many charges does Donald Trump face? Donald Trump is accused of violating seven federal laws, but faces 37 separate charges. And that's because each classified document he's accused of holding onto illegally is charged in a separate count. And his alleged efforts to hide classified information from federal investigators is also charged in several ways. His longtime aide, Walt Nauta, faces six charges, five of which are also lodged against Donald Trump. Trump indicted on... Th now, they have this handy graph. How... Oh, how wonderful. Here we go. 31 counts of willful retention of nat national defense information related to Donald Trump's unauthorized possession of national defense documents and his failure to turn them over to law enforcement officials. Incredible. So, what this is saying is that they've found 31 separate examples of him not just... Keep in mind, it's not just an accident... It's not that um, he forgot or made a mistake. It's willful retention. These are 31 separate charges of him simply refusing to put the documents where they belong. And we're, you guys are going to get to see why this gets so funny so fast. <laughs> Three counts of withholding or concealing documents in a federal investigation related to Donald Trump and an aide allegedly concealing boxes of classified documents from law enforcement officials and the grand jury. Two counts of false statements related to false statements about the classified documents being turned over to law enforcement and an alleged scheme to hide Trump's continued possession of the materials. Now, at this point, some of you might be going... Wait a minute, that sounds familiar. And you might be having these echoes in your mind of 
uh, of crowds of, of hog Americans going, lock her up, lock her up, Hillary's emails, Hillary's emails. And if that's happening to you right now, that's good on you because you've realized that what Donald Trump is in, is in trouble for right now is actually a worse version of what he has been accusing Hillary Clinton of doing the entire time. Now, everybody knows that Hillary Clinton got in trouble to some degree um, for having uh, a email server and uh, that was a privately operated email server that was in breach of certain uh, federal rules about secure information. And of course, the reason why that wasn't even nearly as big of a, a deal here is because uh, that is a that was a a a workflow that was in technical violation, but that had also been used by previous administrations. So it was all the way back to Bush had been basically doing the same thing and nobody understood that that was in violation. And you might say, well, that's kind of convenient, isn't it? And you know what? I'll even, for the purpose of argument, I'll even grant you, it is a little, it does seem a little bit fucking slimy. But you want to know what the difference was? Hillary Clinton didn't fucking do a giant cover-up. Hillary Clinton didn't fucking post on social media, I didn't steal any documents. I didn't do it. Don't look over in my bathroom. She didn't do any of that. She didn't fucking make a big show about it. She just kind of said, oh, we didn't know this was against the rules. Ha 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 ha. Um, which, you know, that's Hillary Clinton-like. But, you know, you got to acknowledge that there's a pretty significant difference between Hillary Clinton... Uh, having an oopsie that looks bad versus Donald Trump just basically taking a shit in the middle of the floor and wiping his ass with nuclear documents. Yeah, exactly. Bragwin points out, Hillary Clinton sat there and answered questions for 11 hours straight and never invoked the fifth. Yeah, Hillary Clinton actually, for to credit, not a huge fan of Hillary Clinton here, but to Hillary Clinton's credit, she actually, she didn't fucking stamp her feet. But it's interesting now, of course, that there is now significant evidence that Donald Trump may have literally done the exact thing that he was accusing Hillary Clinton of. Remember when he kept talking about Bitwasher or whatever the fuck that was called, acid, bit acid or acid wash or whatever that stupid shit that he used to ramble about. He had like a hundred different names for it, which he said was allegedly like a, a program that Hillary Clinton secretly used to delete emails that there was no evidence of them existing. He just basically made that shit up. Now, this fucking guy has charges against him with credible evidence that he not only tried to hide them, but that he did it in a really fucking embarrassing and pathetic manner. Also, these are just the documents they chose to declassify the existence of. There are some that are so classified, no charges will ever be brought because just revealing they exist is a threat to national security. Yes, of course, that's certainly possible. Anyway, uh... <laughs> Let's continue. Finally, the final count. One, conspiracy to obstruct justice. This is related to an alleged conspiracy between Donald Trump and an aide to keep classified documents Donald Trump took from the White House. So they've got evidence that he not only lied and tried to hide the documents, but that he tried to basically photocopy them to make sure he could keep them after he left the White House. Just so embarrassing. What are the charges against Donald Trump? Espionage Act. Unauthorized retention of national uh, defense information. Trump is charged with 31 counts of violating a part of the Espionage Act that bars willful retention of national defense information by someone not authorized to have it. Such information is defined as any document, writing, code book, signal book, sketch, blah, 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 a lot of these, a lot of different things. <laughs> Photograph, photographic negative, blueprint, plan, map, model, instrument, appliance, or note relating to the na national defense or relating to the national defense which information the possessor has reason to believe could be used to the injury of the United States or to the advantage of any foreign nation. So basically, this is uh, battle plans, which we're going to find out, 
uh, uh, information on potential enemy actions, information on potential U.S. military actions. Technically, that information does not actually have to be classified, but in practice, the law is almost exclusively used to pros pros uh, prosecute retention of classified material. What this is saying is that you can actually get in trouble for sharing even non-classified information, but the stuff that he shared specifically is classified information. In Trump's case, the prosecutors say that all but one of the 31 documents he is charged with illegally retaining were marked as classified at the secret or top secret level. <laughs> oh, shit! <laughs> oh, no, bro! You didn't just choose... You didn't just choose the classified stuff. You choose the extra spicy and the extra, extra spicy. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Oh, no. If he's found guilty on these espionage charges, he might not be able to hold any office, uh, regardless of if he gets votes or not. Uh, I know. And that would be absolutely hilarious to see him trying to run for president when he's been disqualified from office. So I'm really, I'm really, I'm hoping that justice is carried out in this incident. Okay. A conviction does not require evidence of a desire to disseminate the classified information. Having it in an unauthorized location is enough. However, the crime requires willful mishandling of material. The possessor has reason to believe that it could be used to in injury of the United States or to the advantage of a foreign nation. Charges are generally not brought without some aggravating factor, making it clear the retention was not accidental such as evidence of intent to share the information, signs of disloyalty to the U.S. government, or simply the volume of documents taken. That right there is pretty important. The fact that this is that these charges are specifically targeting the fact that it was willful, and as we're going to see in just a few minutes, as we're going to see in just a few minutes, you guys are going to get to see just how willful and just how strong the evidence that it was willful really is, okay? <laughs> oh, God. Unlike other government employees, the president does not go through a security clearance process that includes a pledge to follow classification rules. But Trump received requests from the National Archives and Records Administration, NARA, and subpoenas from the Justice Department indicating the documents in question were classified and needed to be returned to the government. Prosecutors say that instead he sought to hide them from federal investigators. And while the president can declassify most information, there is a process for doing so. According to the indictment, Trump twice showed classified information to others, once while saying the document was still classified and lamenting that he no longer had the power to declassify it. This right here is going to be... I'm telling you, you guys aren't going to regret holding through here, okay? Conspiracy, conspiracy to obstruct justice. Trump is charged with one count of conspiring with NAUTA to hide classified material from federal investigators by lying to the FBI about what was found at Mar-a-Lago and moving boxes of documents. Is this where they're going to have the photos? Please, is this where we have, do we get the photos here? I have some of the photos on hand. Oh, no! Oh, no! They got the photos in there. I want the ones where's where I want the one in the bathroom. Give me the one in the bathroom, okay? Look. Listen. <laughs> we'll get there. We'll get there. Trump is specifically accused of suggesting that one of his attorneys lie to the FBI and help him hide or destroy documents. Tampering with grand jury evidence. Trump and Nauta, Nauta face two counts of trying to keep evidence out of grand jurors' hands. One count of withholding the classified documents and one of corruptly concealing them. As a part of those charges, Trump is accused of trying to persuade one of his attorneys to help conceal the documents, while Nauta is accused of actually hiding the evidence by moving the boxes of classified documents. Concealing evidence in a federal investigation. For the same alleged conduct of hiding the classified information at Mar-a-Lago, Trump and Nauta fa separately face one count each of concealing evidence with the intent to obstruct an FBI investigation. Thank you. 
Both Trump and Nauta both together face one count of scheming to make false statements for allegedly hiding from the FBI and the grand jury that the former president still had classified documents in his possession. Trump faces a separate count for causing his attorneys to falsely claim in June 2022 that all classified documents in his in the former president's possession had to be had been handed over in response to a subpoena according to the indictment now to alone is accused of lying to the fbi by falsely claiming that he had nothing to do with moving any boxes what possible penalties does trump face the maximum punishment for each count of lawful retention of national defense information is 10 years in prison Remember how we talked about the last time we talked about Trump, we were talking about the, uh, the, the fact that he was found liable, uh, in the sexual assault, uh, uh, situation with, um, uh, in the sexual assault situation and the, the, the liability was monetary. So while it does look very bad on him and it does go on his record in, as a matter of public record, the punishment was actually monetary, which as we all know, Donald Trump is very rich. That is not the case here, okay? This is a 10 year in prison sentence for each of his counts, for each of his 31 counts. Now, it is possible that these counts don't all stick, but the fact that each one of them carries a potential of 10 years in prison is some serious, that's some, that's some serious doo-doo, okay? I, I, that's what we call in the fucking lawyer industry, which I, I'm not in just as a record. I'm not a lawyer, but, but in the lawyer industry, they call it deep, deep doo-doo, okay? Whew. If he gets just one, that's the rest of his life there. Yeah. Conspiracy to obstruct justice, tampering with the grand jury evidence, and concealing evidence in a federal in investigation all carry punishments of up to 20 years. Each false statement charge is punishable by up to five years in prison. If Trump were convicted on all of the charges, the sentences could run consecutively, amounting to hundreds of years in prison. But federal defendants are rarely given the maximum possible punishment. He does not face any mandatory minimum sentences. So it is possible that he walks away from this scotch-free. However, this is the first time that Donald Trump is seriously coming up against the fact that he might actually have to do prison time. And of course, it's possible he doesn't have to do any, but the possibility exists where it hasn't before. Sentences in unlawful retention cases vary widely, depending in part on how sensitive the material is. Well, we know that it was secret and top secret. How much of it there is, how long the person held on to it, well, we know he held on to it for a really long time, and his or her cooperation with investigators, which he didn't do at all. A Defense Department employee in Manila who took home a small amount of secret level information to work on a classified thesis project served only three months behind bars. A small amount of secret level information. Donald Trump had a lot of secret and top secret information and didn't cooperate at all. Kenneth Wayne Ford Jr., who was found guilty at trial of bringing home national defense information after leaving the NSA and lying about the case, received a six-year sentence. A former NSA contractor who over two decades amassed a huge trove of highly sensitive material, including hacking tools and the details of overseas operations, was sentenced to nine years in prison. A Navy sailor who, put, who took pictures of classified areas of a nuclear-powered submarine and then destroyed the evidence was sentenced to a year in prison for retention and obstruction. Trump later pardoned him. Hmm. Retired General David H. Petraeus was given probation after pleading guilty to sharing classified information with his biographer. At the time, the crime of mishandling classified information, as opposed to national defense information, was a misdemeanor with a maximum punishment of a year behind bars. It became a felony during Trump's presidency. <laughs> oh no, dude. Talk, talk about that coming back to bite you. Oh God. Trump is charged in New York state court with unrelated crimes for conduct that predates his presidency. 
He is accused of falsifying business records to hide payments during the 2016 campaign made to an adult film star to keep her from saying publicly that she had an affair with Trump. Trump is also under investigation by a state prosecutor in Georgia who is looking at his efforts to attempt to overturn Biden's 2020 victory in, in Georgia. Smith is also investigating Trump's attempts to stay in office after losing the presidential election, including his pressure on officials in battleground states and fundraising off of false claims of election fraud. Jesus Christ. It's actually incredible to me just how much of a criminal scumbag Donald Trump is. It's so pathetic, too. He's a criminal scumbag in all of the stupidest and most pathetic ways imaginable. He's challenged. It's so funny. He ran on draining the swamp, and then he literally behaves exactly like the so-called swamp. All of this is fucking petty, pathetic, self-serving corruption. All of it. It's all swamp behavior. From the very beginning, it has literally always been projection. Just... Nothing else. Just always projection. How has Trump responded to the charges? <laughs> the former president describes himself as an innocent man being treated unfairly in comparison with Biden. Classified documents from the Obama administration were discovered in Biden's Delaware home late last year by lawyers cleaning out his home office. Biden's attorneys turned those documents over to NARA and the president gave the Justice Department permission to further search the home as well as his beach house and think tank office. The White House has said only a small number of documents from Biden's vice presidential tenure were ever found. A special counsel has been appointed to oversee that investigation. You guys remember? Do you guys remember when all of the conservatives were trying to whip everybody up about, oh, but Joe, Joe Biden stealing documents when it turns out like his lawyers were like, oh shit, we have old Obama era documents. We better turn these in. And they volunteered to let them search his house. Come on. Donald Trump is fucking burying his burying his allegedly burying all of his classified and top secret documents in a fucking hotel in a fucking in his in his house at his at his uh, resort in Florida. Are you and it like and he's like no Joe Joe Biden is super bad. Joe Biden's like oh we found a we found two papers that that were technically classified documents that were sent to me when I was when I was working for for Obama. You guys better search my house, my beach house, my think tank, my office. You guys better come on in and take care of this. And then and Donald Trump is like let's burn it all allegedly. Incredible. Okay, so that's a, a special counsel has been appointed to oversee the investigation. There you go. Okay, so there's the basic story, everybody. Now we get into the fun stuff. So, <laughs> the greatest picture to come out of this so far, the absolute most amazing picture ever, is of course the famous picture of all of the <laughs> of all of the documents that were hidden in his crappy bathroom at Mar-a-Lago. Okay, this is these are the documents that were reclaimed by uh, by the FBI. Okay. He had secret documents stacked up in a guest bathroom. And if you look over here, if you look up at the top of this image, you can actually see that there are more documents piled up behind the shitty fucking bathroom curtain. It is the absolute funniest thing I think I've ever seen in my entire life. Can you imagine Donald Trump just banging his knee on these shitty boxes or Donald Trump's guests? First of all, what a terrible toilet for anybody. What, what the hell is this toilet? It's like, it's it's not even a squatting toilet. It's like halfway between one of those like rural China squatting toilets and a normal ass toilet that you would buy at uh, at Home Depot. It's got some kind of like fusion, fusion design specifically designed to cramp your thighs while you're taking a shit, okay? He's got this ridiculous death trap chandelier hanging over you the entire time you're trying to st take a shit and every guest that came to stay at Mar-a-Lago had to look at the fucking nuclear codes while they're taking a shit while getting paper cuts on their knee from these boxes absolutely 
Oh my god, absolutely incredible. Just amazing, okay? It, it, it really, it truly doesn't get better than this. I'm sorry, okay. Any person in this, uh, in this audience right now, nobody here to my knowledge, I don't think we have, uh, you know, Joe Biden or Obama uh, watching, watching the stream right now. Nobody in my audience has ever been president of the United States. But can you imagine ever, ever being a millionaire, being a multimillionaire and a former president and choosing to store top secret documents that you know you're in hot water for in your fucking guest bathroom at your golf resort? How, how stupid can you, how fucking stupid can you be? <laughs> I just don't understand. It's, I don't understand what the hell is going on, okay? Also, for just a second, for just a second, can we, can you, can we just take a moment and leave our American selves for a moment? I know some of you aren't American. I know there's some of you who are blessedly not American in this moment in time. But let's just imagine what this looks like to every other country on earth. Hey guys, how's it going in your country right now? Oh, you know, we're dealing with this, we're dealing with that. Maybe there's a war, maybe there's a, you know, a natural disaster over in America. Well, not Donald Trump! He only had 900 classified documents in his shitter. He only had 20 sword in the outhouse, and he only used four of them to wipe his ass with. Come the fuck on. Like... <laughs> Talk about, talk about how fucking embarrassing, embarrassing this is. It's truly incredible. Do you think that these documents over here are like waterlogged with shit from the splash off from Donald Trump, like drunkenly stumbling into his guest bathroom and pissing all over the boxes? Do you think there's just like a big piss stain on all these boxes? Cause I, oh, sorry. You guys can't see it. These ones over here. The ones over on this side, I bet these are like partially waterlogged with piss splash. Also, I want you guys to just think about something else, okay? Take one, one second again, okay? One more thing to think about. Donald Trump does not clean his own bathrooms, okay? Obviously, he's a rich guy and this is his, his manor at his golf resort, okay? How many house cleaners, how many house cleaners do you think went in there and were just like, we have to, I have to clean up the piss splash around all of these nuclear documents. How many, how many do you think there were? Dozens? Hundreds? Over the course of years? Hunga Master, can you give, do you have a, a link to the raw document? I didn't have the raw document, but if you can please, we're, I have excerpts from the document. If you have a link to the raw document, I would love that. Here it is. Oh, oh yes. We got the full one. Yes. Amazing. Yes. Oh yeah, baby. We got the full one. Oh, we can read it straight from it. Here we go. Hold on. Well, let's see. Hold on. Oh, you can't search this. Oh, it's not searchable. Hold on. Let me see if I can get the page number. Number 34. Okay, hold on. Let's get down to number 34. I want to read it fresh so you guys understand. This is in, this is permanently in the record of the history of the United States. Okay. Forever. There's no undoing this. This, this is forever gonna, here we go. Okay, guys, here we go. It's time, let's do this together. Okay, this is the funniest thing I've ever read. All right, 34. Upon greeting the writer, publisher, and his two staff members, Trump stated, look what I found. This was the senior military official's plan of attack. Read it and just show, it's interesting. Later in the interview, Trump engaged in the following exchange. Here we go, okay, everybody? Trump, well, with the senior military official, uh, let me see, I'll show you an example. He said, I wanna attack country A. Isn't that just amazing? I have a big pile of papers. This thing just came up. Look, this was him. They presented me this. This is off the record, but uh, they presented me this. This was him. This was the Department of Defense and him. Writer says, wow. Trump, we looked at some. This was him. It wasn't done by me. This was him. All sorts of stuff. Pages long. Look. Staffer says, mm. 
Trump, wait a minute, let's see here. Staffer, laughter, yeah. Now, I, I know that they can't write nervous laughter here, but we all know that this is nervous laughter, okay? And, and if you don't believe me, just wait just a few minutes and you'll understand why I know for a fact that that was nervous laughter. Trump, I just found, isn't that amazing? This totally wins my case, you know? Staffer, mm-hmm. Trump says, except it's like, it's highly confidential. Highly confidential. Staffer, yeah. Laughter. <laughs> yeah, period. Laughter. Trump, secret. This is secret information. Look, look at this. You attack and, by the way, isn't that incredible? Staffer says, yeah. Trump says, I was just thinking because we were talking about it. You know, he said he wanted to attack country A and what staffer says you did. Trump says, this was done by the military and given to me. Uh, I think we probably can, right? Staffer says, I don't know. We'll, we'll have to see. Yeah, we'll have to try to. Trump says, declassify it. Staffer says, figure out a, yeah. Trump says, see as president, I could have declassified it. Staffer says, yeah, laughter again. Trump says, now I can't, you know, but this is still a secret. Staffer says, yeah, laughter, now we have a problem. Trump says, isn't that interesting? <laughs> I can't even fucking believe it. He's literally just like, <laughs> can you believe it? I have found these secret documents. They're super secret, bro. Take a look, look, look at the secret document. And the staffer's just like, oh no. Do you see why I said there is no Ifs, ands, or buts, there is no chance that that isn't nervous laughter at every single step. Look at this, it's top secret right here. I can't, and he's on tape fucking admitting this. Literally just being like, I can't declassify this. This is classified, it's super secret. What I'm doing right now is a crime. I'm criming right now, right now with three other people in the room, a writer and two staffers, I'm doing a crime, a federal crime, a federal crime. I'm gonna win the case because I'm doing a federal crime right now. And you're involved, you're, in, you're involved in it. Now you're doing a federal crime and you're gonna be in huge trouble. I'm not, I can't even keep up the Trump voice. I can't even come close to keeping up the Trump voice. It's too fucking ridiculous. Hey guys, take a look, this is the Necronomicon. You look inside, your soul's damned forever. Look, oh, made you look. Your soul's damned forever now. What are you gonna do about it? Incredible stuff, truly incredible. I just can't even. Oh my God. Oh, oh no. Oh my fucking God. Listen to this. There's so much more. Oh, please clip this up. And we'll make, we're going to make as many, go ahead. We'll make clips out of this, whatever. It's, it's too good. And it doesn't stop. There's so much more. Look at this. Number 35 in August or September of 2021, when he was no longer president, Trump met in his office at the Bedminster club with a, rep a representative of his political action committee. During the meeting, Trump commented that an ongoing military operation in country B was not going well. Trump then showed the PAC representative a classified map of country B and told the PAC representative that he should not be showing the map to the PAC representative and not to get too close. Guys, I'm so... I really shouldn't be showing you this, but, uh, but you know, Cthulhu is going to love it when I do this. Dagon, he's going to be so pleased. Take a look. It's right here. You're damned forever now, just alongside me. <laughs> You're fucked now. <laughs> Literally just, you shouldn't be seeing this, but I'm showing it to you. The PAC representative did not have any clear security clearance or any need to know classified information about the military operation. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> On November 17th, 2021, Nauta texted Trump employee number two about the photograph. This one. Trump employee two had provided to Trump stating, he mentioned about a picture of the boxes. He wants me to see it. Trump employee two said, calling you shortly. On November 25th, 2021, Trump employee two texted Nauta about Trump's review of the contents of the boxes. Has he mentioned the boxes to you? I delivered some, but I think he may need more. Could you ask if he'd like more in Pine Hall? 
Pine Hall is an entry room in Trump's residence. Now to replied in three successive text messages, nothing about the boxes yes, yet. He has one he's working on in Pine Hall. Knocked out two boxes yesterday. Now keep in mind, these are boxes that were later confirmed to have secret information. They were just texting each other like fucking high schoolers trying to buy weed. Hey bro, uh, hey bro, you gonna, you got, you got the goods for me, bro? Oh my God. Incredible. Here's another one. On November 29th, Trump employee two texted Nata asking, Hey, next time you're on the property, no rush. Could you help me bring four more boxes up? Nata replied, yes, of course. Box answer will be wrenched out of him today, I promise. The next day, the Trump representative one replied in two successive messages. Hey, just checking on boxes. Would love to have a number to them today. Trump tracking the boxes. He's tracking the boxes. More to follow today on whether he wants to go through more today or tomorrow. Can we get new box covers? Oh, God. They're all like... Trump is like, I didn't know we had any secret documents. And then him and eight of his employees all are talking about the boxes for a month straight. All of them sending literal pictures of the boxes that were later discovered and proven to have secret things. Like, I didn't know when I said the boxes that contain secrets, I meant, you know, Pandora's box. I meant, you know, a surprise box, a Christmas present. You know, you never know what you're going to get for Christmas. We got, oh, we got colored pictures. Oh my God. Incredible. Yes. Oh no! He has them in a ballroom! In a fucking ballroom! I haven't even- I didn't even see the ballroom picture. That's incredible! Alright, this is- this is what you expect right here, okay? This vid- this picture here, a secret hallway down in some abandoned basement under the property. That's where you expect secret documents. But a- a guest room and a fucking ballroom? Yeah, I, we, we saw the ones that are behind the curtain already. I've seen this one. I just had not seen the ballroom picture. Is this got a guitar here? Bro, why is this down here with like random suits and a guitar? The Trump employee who is not named is... Hold on, hold on! <laughs> Mr. Trump's aide, Walt Nata, who is charged in, in the in indictment, allegedly texted this picture to another Trump employee saying, I opened the door and found this. The Trump employee who has not been named is said to have replied, Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, you can't, you can't fucking make this shit up. <laughs> oh no, no, no. <laughs> oh my god. Can you imagine how many fucking uh like like young ghouls from from TP USA got hired to be Trump's aides and they thought that they were going to help herald in the Christian future of America and then like just a few short years later they realized that they're probably going to go to federal prison because Donald Trump has forcibly shown them classified documents and explicitly asked them to lie to the FBI and if they didn't if they don't lie to the FBI then they're totally screwed but if they do lie to the FBI then they're going to have to go to federal prison must be must be incredible just imagine the like uh imagine the imagine the, the your life just flashing before your eyes you 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 were so excited to join up with tp usa you were so excited to get placed in the the office of the president you're going to be an aide to the president fresh-faced little christian neo-nazi crypto nazi in hiding maybe you even flash an okay symbol in your in your class of what of, of 2016 photo Oh no! Oh god, no! Oh my god. 
The final picture included in the charges shows dozens of boxes stacked to the ceiling. According to the indictment, an employee had specifically showed the photograph to Donald Trump so Trump could see just how many of his boxes were stored in the storage room. There's on the record evidence of his aides showing him this picture and being like, hey boss, uh, what you want us to do with the secret documents? You got, you got so many secret documents down in the basement, what you want us to do with it? And Donald Trump is like, uh, I don't know, maybe burn them. Absolutely incredible. Absolutely amazing. Yeah, look at this. 15 of the boxes that Trump had provided had had provided had provided reached Nara in January of 2022. Nara reviewed the contents and determined that 14 of the boxes contained documents with classification markings. Specifically, as the FBI later determined, the boxes contained 197 documents with classification markings, of which 98 were marked secret, 30 were marked top secret, and the remainder were marked confidential. Some of these documents also contained SCI and SAP markings. So these pictures that they were sending around were later literally confirmed to have top secret and secret information in them. And they're going, uh oh, big, uh, big Donnie wants these boxes moved into the, uh, into the black, uh, put, make sure you put these in the black site where the FBI won't be able to find them. Oh my, oh my God. Absolutely incredible. Just amazing. Just incredible. Here we go. Oh no, here's his conversation with his attorney. I don't want anybody looking, I don't want anybody looking through my boxes. I really don't. I don't want you looking through my boxes. Well, what if we, what happens if we just don't respond at all or don't play ball with them? Meaning the FBI. Wouldn't it be better if we just told them we don't have anything here? Well, look, isn't it better if there are no documents? Oh my God! <laughs> He's on record just being like, what if we just, uh, what if we just lied? What if we just destroyed the documents? Have we considered that? Holy fucking shit. They have this bitch dead to rights. I, I can't even believe it. He's self-incriminated the over and over and over again. This whole thing is him just being like, yeah, what can we do about the boxes with the secret documents, the secret boxes with the secret documents that I want you to get rid of? It sure would be a shame if anybody ever saw these texts or recordings of me admitting that these are secret. Trump and Trump attorney one then discussed what to do with the red weld folder containing document documents with classification markings and whether Trump attorney one should bring them to his hotel room and put them in a safe there. During that conversation, Trump made a plucking motion as memorialized by Trump attorney one. He made a funny motion as though, well, okay, why don't you take them with you to your hotel room? And if there's anything really bad in there, you know, pluck them out. That was the motion he made. He didn't say it though. You want to just, guys, you know, why don't you, why don't you look through the documents and just, you know, if you find anything interesting, you know, here, make sure you get on video. I'm not saying it. I'm not saying it, guys. I'm just, you know, you know, take it, you know, like, uh, like, you know, you know what I'm saying? The fire, the, the fire, Jesus Christ. This man is a master criminal. A true, a true master criminal. Remember, this guy is the God Emperor. Here's all of the, by the way, here's the full list of the documents, okay? Top secret, 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 redacted, redacted. 
secret, secret, top secret, redacted, redacted, top secret, no markings, secret, top secret, 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 top secret, redacted, secret, secret, formerly restricted data, top secret, redacted, top secret, redacted, secret, top secret, special handling. Undated document concerning military activity. Oh, wait, you can read the actual details. Document dated August 2019 concerning regional military activity of a foreign country. Timeline and details of an attack in a foreign country. Undated document concerning nuclear weaponry of the United States. Military operations against the United States. Oh my god! He literally, unironically had nuclear information in there. Getting pissed on in his guest bathroom. Absolutely incredible. Just amazing. It, it truly just never ends with this person. Why did he have these at his house? Why? Why would he ever leave these at his fucking... Why would he leave, the, the, leave these at his golf place? Oh my god. Look at this. Listen to this. So this is on the charges of false statements. Nauta was asked the following questions and gave the following false answers. Question. Do, are any of you aware of any boxes being brought into his home or his suite? N Nauta says no. And then they have his texts showing that he was personally carrying the boxes into his home. All right, so to the best of your knowledge, you're saying those boxes that you brought into the truck the first time you ever laid eyes on them was when Trump 2 needed you to. Correct, take them. Of course, proven incorrect. I wish I could tell you. I just don't know. I honestly just don't know. So you only saw 15 boxes, 15, 17 boxes. And then in his records, it shows that he had sent pictures of 80 boxes. Oh my God. Oh my God. It's a shame there's no mandatory minimums for this type of shit. Fuck this guy. It's funny how all the crimes that the president can do never have mandatory minimums. But they'll they'll give a mandatory minimum if you steal a fucking lighter at a at a gas station. Okay, guys, but I know that we've been laughing a lot, okay? Oh, thank you, Flops. I appreciate that a lot. Thank you. Um We have more to laugh at though, okay? Okay, hold on. Hold on. We have a couple of funny things to laugh at, okay? Which is Donald Trump totally taking this all really, really well, okay? We have to take... We, I, I assure you, okay? He's taking it super, super well right now, okay? <gasps> oh my god, he deleted one of them. Oh my god, hold on a second. Did he delete... Did they delete this? Since I was last there? Hold on a second. Hold on, he may have deleted one of my really funny ones I wanted to show you. Oh... I knew it. I should have archived it. Hold on. Let me see if I can find it. It was so fucking funny. If I can find it again, it might just be a glitch because Twi Truth Social doesn't work well at all. Oh my God. Oh no. She deleted the original post. Oh, uh, no, wait, here it is. I found it. I found it. My favorite image. Guys, okay, they're they're handling this so well, okay? They're handling it so well. Watch this. Okay, here we go. I just learned, so here's what Donald Trump says. Here's Donald Trump. I have just learned that the thugs from the Department of Injustice will be con indicting a wonderful man, Walt Nauta, a member of the U.S. Navy who served proudly with me in the White House, retired as senior chief, and then transitioned into private life as a personal aide. He's done a fantastic job. They're trying to destroy his life, okay? And this is what he's retweeting. 
This is not a game! This is war! This is literally evil knocking! Will you answer? Will you fight? Will you defend? We will. We are. You elected us to take back our country, our world. Enough is enough. You think this is, it's literally evil. They're, the demon rats are coming for you. Absolutely amazing. They are so self-important. It's so fucking funny. This was this is a post by some random MAGA patriot person. This is from uh, New Jersey Patriot hashtag America First. The real insurrection occurred on November third, twenty twenty. Explosion! 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 I wonder what else this person has been retweeting. Oh. A uh, American flag Punisher skull titled The Storm Has Arrived. 13th generation patriot with what appears to be... Is that like an Oath Keeper? I don't know. A bunch of Trump retweets. A bunch of QAnon crap. The Storm Has Arrived Again. Literal raw QAnon madness. Yeah, literally raw QAnon posting. These people are insane. Okay, so there's apparently a video, all right? This is such a bleak fandom. Oh, it's pathetic. Oh yeah, there's the one. Oh, we get, we're gonna look at that one. Don't worry, we're gonna look at the one of uh, yeah, yeah. That I have that one. Yeah, yeah, this one. <laughs> okay, we'll do this one next. I fucking love this one. Okay. America went to sleep last night with tears in its eyes. Someday soon, however, it will be able to wipe away those tears and smile bigger than ever before, for we will have defeated the radical left Marxists, fascists, communists, lunatics, and deranged maniacs and cleared the path to put America first and then quickly make America great again. Absolutely incredible. Just amazing. Lady Liberty was crying herself to sleep last night, but Donald Trump rolled over with his his uh, uh, spaghetti sauce stained bib, and he ra he wa he wiped her eyes dry and said, "Don't worry, honey. It's gonna be okay. I'm gonna caga you tomorrow." Absolutely incredible. Just amazing. But guys, it gets better, okay? He posted a video. Do you guys want to watch the video? Very sad. Here we go. This is Donald Trump's super I'm definitely doing okay video from Rumble, okay? Here we go. Very sadly, we're a nation in decline. And yet, they go after a popular president, a president that got more votes than any sitting president in the history of our country, by far and did much better the second time in the election than the first. And they go after him on a boxer's hoax, just like the Russia, Russia, Russia hoax, and all of the others. This has been going on for seven years. They can't stop because it's election interference at the highest level. There's never been anything. Do you guys remember what Donald Trump used to be like? Do you think he's getting, he's like actually getting tired? Also, look at his hair. Everybody makes fun of Donald Trump's hair all the time because it is very funny to make fun of his hair. But seriously, he forgot like half of the toupee today. Huge missing spot here. Totally fucked up over here. Literally looks like he just rolled out of bed. He's inside. He, it, he's not like... The, most of the time when people are making fun of Trump's hair, it's when it's being blown around and you can see his toupee flying off because the helicopter or the jet the jet blast is blowing or the wind is blowing his toupee off. This is... He's inside and was re choosing to record this and it's just completely fucked up. Like what's happened 
I'm an innocent man. I'm an innocent person. Uh, they had the Mueller hoax, the Mueller report, and that came out. No collusion after two and a half years. That was set up by Hillary Clinton and Democrats. But this is what they do. This is what they do so well. If they would devote their energies to honesty and integrity, it would be a lot better for our country. They could do a lot better. They could do a lot of great things. But when you look at what's happened to our... His zest for life is gone. He's become, at long last, a pink hollow. You guys, you guys, those of you in, uh, those of you who play Dark Souls will know what I'm talking about. You guys will know exactly what I'm talking about. He's become the, this one. He's become the crying pink hollow. Crying by the lonely stairs forever. Our country in the last three years, we were energy independent. We had a strong military that wasn't woke. We were doing so well. We were respected all over the world. We got the biggest tax cuts in history, biggest regulation cuts in history. And what do you do? You have a president where an election was taken, got more votes than any sitting president in history by far. Never anything even. It's all that's left. Tell me the difference. And they come after me. Crying. Because now we're leading in the polls again by a lot against Biden and against the Republicans by a lot. Oh yeah, Literally. you're totally destroying Biden in the polls. You're destroying Biden in the polls of only MAGA people from your emailing list. Totally, bro. Leading against Biden by a lot, a tremendous amount. And we went up to a level that they figured the way they're gonna stop us is by using what's called warfare. And that's what it is. This is warfare for the law. And what? we can't let it happen. We can't let it happen. Our country is going to hell and they come after Donald Trump, weaponizing the Justice Department, weaponizing the FBI. We can't let this continue to go on because it's ripping our country to shreds. We have such big problems, and this shouldn't be one of them. It's a hoax. The whole thing is a hoax. Just like Russia, 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 just like the fake dossier was a hoax. You saw the Durham report. You saw the Mueller report. It was all a big hoax. You had to- Okay, one thing I will say is that for MAGA idiots, for like the hogs out there, this is basically like, um, okay, have you ever, have you ever talked, okay, I know some of you in the audience are like One Piece fans. Just shut the fuck up for one second, those of you who like One Piece. Anybody out there who doesn't like One Piece, have if you've ever had a One Piece fan go off in your ear about One Piece, a show that has like 900 episodes and 47,000 different storylines going on at any one moment. Um, this is, th that's the same thing as this. For all of the MAGA fans, they know what all of this is. They're totally in on the lore. They're like, oh yeah, the rumble fungal report. Oh my God, I remember that arc. I remember the Donald Trump arc when he was dealing with the fungal bungle. And everybody else is like, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah, okay. Remember in episode 637 when uh, whatever character said this and did that? That's his fans are all like, uh-huh, uh-huh. And everyone else is like, bro, what? Impeachments and they lost and we won. And we had tremendous support. But that was a hoax and a scam. And now they're doing it again. It's just a continue. And then in episode 645, Biden attacked my boat and he attempted to steal my treasure and run away with it. But I was able to use the secret technique to keep him at bay. Do you guys remember when that happened? It was so epic. And my and episode 447 received so many high ratings on my anime list. Continuation, seven years, even after I'm out. But it's called election interference. They're trying to destroy your reputation so they can win an election. That's... <laughs> Biden activated his hockey. That's what they call it, hockey. <laughs> Just as bad as doing any of the other things that have been done over the last number of years, and especially during the 2020 election. So I just want to tell you, I'm an innocent man. I did nothing wrong. 
And we will fight this out just like we've been fighting for seven years. It would be wonderful if we could f devote our full time to making America great again. Yeah, totally, dude. Exactly you, I love how he keeps... Isn't it funny how Donald Trump keeps kicking the can down the road on when they're going to make America great again? Dude, you had four years. You had four years with, the, with fucking support... Uh, from Congress to make America great again. You couldn't even do a single thing. You just made it worse Yeah, no soon. I swear guys we're gonna make just a little bit longer I just need four more years and I'll be able to finally make America great again. You'll get your white picket fences You'll get your um, every every person will be assigned a Christian traditional virgin wife I promise guys and everybody will get a good job and a big TV. One big TV you can watch the Super Bowl on. I swear. Just four more. Exactly what we did. But now, again, our country is in decline. We're a failing nation. And this is what they do. I'm an innocent man. We will prove that again. Seven years of proving it. And here we go again. Very unfair. Seven years of proving I'm innocent despite the amount of times I've been indicted the 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 cases that I've already lost the uh, Overwhelming evidence against me. I will continue to prove that I am definitely innocent and have not been found liable for multiple uh, Charges of sexual assault and indicted numerous times But that's the way it is. I just want to thank everybody We are doing something very special for our country. We're putting America first. I always put America first. And that's why we were in a position. Unfortunately, that position is no longer valid because they've done such a poor job. But we're in a position where we're going to make America great again. Uh, I'm innocent and we will prove that very, very soundly and hopefully very quickly. Thank you very much. Incredible. Super. He's definitely doing okay. He's definitely feeling strongly about it. He's definitely going to be all right. There's no worry in his mind. He's definitely feeling the energy that he was feeling before. Extremely high energy, Donald Trump. We, I love how, what's this? When is this from? This is from years ago. This is not, this is not new. Here we go. I want to show you guys one more thing, okay? There's another one, all right? There's another one. And it's really fucking funny, okay? Let me show it to you. Now, he deleted this one, okay? But this one was reported on before it got deleted, all right? I wonder why he might have deleted this one. Oh, thank you, Uncle Gumball's mom. Thank you very much. Here we go. Watch this. Ready? See you in Miami on Tuesday. All hands on deck. Trump document hoax rally, 400 North Miami Avenue, Miami, Florida, 33128, Wilkie D. Ferguson Jr. U.S. Courthouse, Tuesday, June 13th, 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. He's literally, he's actually trying to make a January 6th happen at the case where he's getting in trouble for trying to prevent any sort of justice from being carried out. Is the rally a hoax or are they rallying about a hoax or are they rallying to plan a hoax? Personally, guys, I really hope that this happens. Okay. And the reason why I hope that this show that, that they show up is because it will be the funniest thing to happen since January 6th. You guys remember when we were watching January 6th and it was a bunch of fucking old farts stumbling over each other, dropping their beers, slipping on their fucking flip flops, uh, uh knocking their hats off, falling off of ladders, uh, uh, shitting all over the walls, you know? And there was like seven really serious guys, all of whom didn't actually accomplish anything and only really managed to like scare a couple of uh, politicians. And that was about the maximum that they accomplished. Every time they try to do a show of force, it's the funniest and most embarrassing thing in the world. And guys, let me just tell you, they don't have the energy, okay? They've been running on fumes since the beginning of the Biden presidency, okay? Running on fucking fumes. They blew their load in January 6th, and all they've been able to do since then is have meltdowns over M&Ms and Dylan Mulvaney and trans people. It's really funny. You guys notice how conservatives can only ever pick a fight when they have an overwhelming major majority 
uh, and they already have all of the advantages in their side, and that's the only thing they can muster. They can't even stand up out of their fucking chairs for a real struggle. They're like, oh yeah, um, let's make, let's mo let's mobilize uh, the entire me uh, Republican media sphere against like one percent of the population, like less than one percent of the population. Uh, that's a great idea because uh, a, a, a percentage of the population that has historically been marginalized. Yeah, that's a fair fight and they can get some energy up for that. But the moment they actually have to do anything serious, it's a bunch of fucking dorks and losers, a bunch of lazy shits. They get sad at the, the second the sun starts going down. They're like, oh, I'm chilly. I better go back to my car and warm up. What's this? My car has been impounded because I was participating in a, in a uprising on the Capitol. Oh, God. God damn it, I should have brought some hot hands. Oh, I'm gonna call my son. Hold your words until you see the Floridian elderly scooter cavalry that will show up in Miami. Yeah, okay. Oh my god. Where's that one? Hold on. Where's the one? This is the one. <laughs> I'm going to read this one again, okay? Here we go. I'm going to break out a classic and just remind you that this is exactly why I really hope that they get their little rally together, okay? Imagine spending the better part of the last five years having your brain and ego melted by uninterrupted poll exposure, flying to Washington in the middle of a pandemic to hear Donald Trump whine about Oprah and Mike Pence at a rally, marching up to Congress on his orders to smash shit and then mill around aimlessly. You go home and hear that Biden won anyway and all of your favorite Twitter news sources named like the Patriot Newsmen of the West with avatars of Roman statues have posted your photo online and are labeling you a gay communist Antifa actor. Then the next day, the God Emperor you pasted into Warhammer memes puts out a video cucking himself out and bending the knee. I'm sorry, those were heinous acts. P -p Please let me tweet again, Jack. You can't leave DC because the airlines have dubbed you a flight risk. You can't stay because the cops are actively looking for you after one of their own died. Your roommate at the at the only hotel that would accept you is a guy named Base Kekistani 1488 who wants to show you his goblin slayer torrents. The sun is going down. You're getting cold. A classic, a classic post from January 6th. And guess what? I want to see it happen again, okay? But guess what? It's going to be even more pathetic because they do not have the energy, okay? They're all tired out, okay? Half of them got COVID seven times, all right? These motherfuckers didn't get their vaccines. These motherfuckers haven't masks. Their brains are, are th their brains look like fucking SpongeBob from the Suds episode, okay? It's just like, Jesus Christ. We got to see it. I got to see it. I need to see it. I need to see their final come. Okay? Their final sad fucking spurt. I need it. All right, guys. One last thing, okay? Donald Trump calling for action on uh, January 6th, part two, Electric Boogaloo. Okay? But I have one more to share, one more thing to share, okay? Oops. Box, here we go. Box is stored on the White House sidewalk for all to see prior to being moved down to Florida. Nothing to hide here. Witch hunt. Here's him posting the boxes as if this exonerates him. Here's him fucking up even worse, posting a picture of it live on social media for the rest of eternity. This will be recorded in the record. And he's like, oh yeah, I have nothing to hide. See, we put him on the, we put him out in public too. I'm not going to get in trouble. I have nothing to hide. In, in fucking credible. Absolutely incredible. Nothing to hide. Guys, you want to see a dead body? I smashed his head in with a pipe. Come check it out. I got nothing to hide. Yeah, they were these were these were the these were the fake Antifa misdirection boxes. 
there's a there's a operator hidden in each one of those. It was meant to lure in the Democrats. Well, everybody, there's not much else to say about Donald Trump today. Uh, I do certainly hope that that uh, justice is upheld here and that he actually has to face repercussions. Because let's be real, it's completely insane that Donald Trump, who's been going absolutely bonkers with corruption since the moment he stepped in office, been absolutely a, a total fraud, a guy who runs on law and order and who's the most criminal fucking scummy piece of shit you've ever imagined has yet to face any serious repercussions, gets in trouble over and over and over again. And his privilege, literally just his privilege, uh, as being a rich guy who was formerly president has protected him from any repercussions at the very least. I, ch I truly hope this completely and utterly detonates any shot that he has at becoming president, that it makes him actually, uh, uh, not valid to run for office because that would be one of the greatest things that could possibly happen to this country is to is to know that the MAGA era is over okay these motherfuckers have completely and utterly ripped their brains out of reality in a way that is truly difficult to understand they have completely spun themselves into a totally different world. The MAGA world is like an alternate reality that coexists with our own, where they believe that every Democrat is secretly, uh, you know, three rats in a, in a trench coat that their neighbor who, ha who who's just like has a pride flag up and was like, Hey, you want to come over to the cookout is secretly planning to like capture their babies and drain the spinal fluid from their children. That's the world that these MAGA people live in. The MAGA people, they're, they're just, they're, they, they're gone. Their brains are gone. And they're never coming back, okay? These people aren't coming back to reality. They've ruined their relationships with their family. They've ruined their livelihoods. Some of them literally have done committed federal crimes on behalf of the God Emperor to accomplish literal nothing, okay? There's a solid chunk of the country that is just done, okay? They're never coming back into orbit. After, after Donald Trump, they're just gonna peter off into random nonsense conspiracies until the day that they die. And the sooner we can move past that, the sooner we can move past the literal plague faction of the country that was actively contributing to the spread of COVID and making the rest of the world ridiculously sick, the faster we can move past that, the better for the entire world. So I'm truly, truly hoping that justice is done here, that they get him. He fucking admitted to all this shit. And I hope they nail him. And I hope he actually does prison time. Because I'm going to say, while the chances are low that he actually does prison time, I got to be real. I don't think he's ever going to actually do prison time. The fact that it's a possibility, that it's a small glimmer of hope that this motherfucker might for once in his life face a serious repercussion. And it would be amazing. It would be amazing. Anyway, if you've enjoyed this incredibly hilarious Donald Trump segment, I do this type of stuff all the time on my channel. Please make sure that you press subscribe and ring the bell down below and leave a like on the video while you're there, while you're at it. The likes seriously help the video grow. The subscriptions obviously directly grow the channel, but the likes make sure that other people see it. So leave me your likes, leave me your subscriptions, and thank you for watching Demon Mama and hearing the signal.